girl, <clears throat> I filmed a welcome diary on my phone, but the, um, it's too much storage to send to my laptop, so I'm just gonna retake my webcam diary from earlier and do it now. It is, uh, the 9th of August, Tuesday the 9th of August, it's 9.05. This is my 30th webcam diary, so happy 30, guys. Well done. Um, so I've been away for like seven days and I went to Devon um, this last weekend just gone with my um, friends from my ski season and it was so gorgeous. I um, I drove down on a Thursday and um, I got there a bit earlier than everyone else. Everyone got there at like 10, 11, although... Um, our friend Ollie got there at like five because his in the morning because his like fucking car broke down and we were staying at his grandma's house so we had to like go in the house before he'd even got there chaos anyway um yes yeah, so it was me um Jess Anna Lolly Ben Ollie Rory and um oh my god me wait Jess Anna Lolly Ollie Ben, Rory, me. That's seven, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was there for the weekend, and then I got there on Friday, Thursday, went down around Solcom on my own, which was so nice for the first couple of hours, because we used to go to Solcom when um, I was a bit younger with my family, so it was so nice to go and explore Solcom again, and, um, and stop itching, stop itching, fetch, and then everyone got here, and we just went to the beach, for like the whole day, um, just drank a lot, um, just parties, it was really fun, it was so nice to see my ski friends, like they're my friends from my ski season we did before Covid, god, that's like quite a long time ago now, um, we came back in 2020, Covid vibes, um, so I have a proper little connection with them, I guess because we've just worked together and and have the pandemic and all this shit, so it's been a lot, um, <clears throat> it wasn't even the whole group, it was like half, maybe a bit more than half, but I was, it was so nice to see everyone that I could see, um, considering, you know, we're all up and down the country, different unis and stuff, Ollie's going to North Carolina next year, like, everyone's going to be in different places, so it was so nice to see everyone, on the fucking Saturday night, we, um, Ollie has a mate who was working in this really cool pub, called like the pig or something, the pig, it was in a really run, like really like rural part of Devon, I mean, I mean Devon's really like rural anyway, but it was like in the middle of nowhere, this crazy pub, and um, from the outside it just looked sort of like a pretty small regular pub, um, and it was dark as well, so we couldn't quite see where we were, it was a bit like sketchy, but I was like where the hell are we, because we were going to like camp afterwards in the like um, campsite for the um, pub, so I, I had I luckily had brought a tent because I wasn't sure on sleeping. Um, so we ended up bringing that tent and um, <clears throat> we went to this pub and oh my god it was amazing it was like um, inside so big and it was sort of quite low ceilings it felt a bit like a set from Harry Potter or something and we just got super drunk had a lovely evening and then at like eleven half eleven it became a fucking like club. So random, like it's random pub in Devon, just with like, I mean the crowd, everyone there was quite fun. It was like very random, like in the middle of nowhere, like end of the country, like in Devon, and then we were just dancing, and then ended up just we got up until like three, four. I mean it was chaos. My ski friends are fucking chaos. I love it. Um, they're very chaos. I mean they're so good for just. I love them. They're just, they're just very good to talk to. Good conversations like constantly wanting to do stuff very proactive like very fun um and then yeah we ended up sleeping over there at the campsite Ugh, wake up in a tent um with ollie jess and anna even though it's a free pass tent i didn't realize that ollie was sleeping in the tent as well it was so cramped i woke up in the night like crammed up against the tent wall, thinking Jess had been like, was like cramming up against me, didn't realise that Ollie was behind her, so there was like four of us in this, in this like tiny tent, anyway, we got up, felt a bit grim, we were like living life on the sort of, um, it was basically like a little, it was basically like a green, with a pub, 
a cafe which was sort of owned by the pub, a shop which was owned by the pub, and then like this campsite, and then like the sea, like it was in the middle of nowhere. It was so fun, and um, we went with Ollie's mate who worked at the pub, and she took us down to the coast with her boyfriend, and we had like a morning swim at like eleven. We went swimming in the sea. That was a good wake up really. And then after that, we got fish and chips um, at another beach. And then we drove back to the house for Sunday, like, afternoon. And then I ended up just driving back on, like, a Sunday afternoon at, like, 6. Um, and it took me, like, four hours, got home. It was a long drive, but, like, happy. And it was, like, really so, such a nice time. I had a really lovely time. And I've been working today and working this week. Um, feeling a little bit all over the place. Not feeling wonderful, but to be honest, I was a bit deep on my other video, I just need to talk about it again now, I'm trying to be positive, um, so I went on a lovely walk out here for like two hours, put a lovely Happy Place podcast episode on and reminded myself to be positive, um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, it was lovely, I need to get back on this webcam diary vibe, but I'm working this week and then one more week and then I'm going back to Manchester to work for Manchester Pride, at my job at GAY, and then I'll probably come home for a bit and then Back up to money for third year, but yeah, summer's going fine, and I had a lovely time with my pals in Devon. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, I'll see you later. I'll see you in the next one. Happy 30. Be positive, Fletch.